soon as you download uh, Posh Screen Mobile for the first time, you must set it up. But the first thing, if you're on a new iPad or an iPhone, uh, you first need to make sure you have your email set up. Now, I'm demonstrating this on the iPad, so you want to come down here and you'll see mail, contacts, and calendars. And you can see that I have three email accounts set up. If you guys don't have that set up, it doesn't matter if you set up the app correctly because you won't be able to email anything out. So be sure that you have an email set up. So I'm going to hit the home button, come back to the main menu, and now I'm going to start the Posture Screen app. Okay, now, the first thing that you'll do is you'll uh, likely be presented with this screen. Feel free to write us a, a nice uh, um, description of how beneficial a Posture Screen Mobile is. I'm going to go ahead and remind me later. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to settings. Now you must complete all this information, okay? So that way you'll be able to email out exercises and uh, take advantages of everything that you need to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is on the bottom uh, left here, is, or excuse me, in the middle here, I'm going to come down to here. I like to keep this on auto right here, okay? Go back to settings. Sorry, I slid that. I want to keep that on auto. That is the new improved digitization method. Um, I'm going to go ahead and connect to Dropbox. If you don't have a Dropbox account, as soon as you click connect to Dropbox, you're going to be presented with a login screen. Now, I already have Dropbox installed on my app, on my device, and it's already been connected before, so it remembers that. So all I have to do is click Allow. Um, if you don't have that already set up, all you need to do is um, you'll be prompted to set up an account. And it's free up to, I believe, 2 gigabytes. Okay? Next thing we want to do is let's go ahead and put in a password for the office email. I'll just put in CVP and this office uh, password down here is for uh, basically uh, turning on the password protection if you're a healthcare per, uh, practitioner. You should be using that for uh, HIPAA compliance, okay, for emailing out patient confidentiality uh, with their records. The next thing we're going to do is let's put in an email address. This can be any email address. Uh, most doctor's offices or fitness trainers set up their own uh, email account that they can check that only posture screens are sent to. So I'm going to go ahead and just put in Joe at postureco.com. Okay. Now the next thing that we can do is let's set up um, the, the letterhead. If we go ahead and set up the letterhead, I already have pictures in here, but if I go into my camera roll and I scroll down, we have all different images. I'm going to put this one in here, and I'm going to pan and zoom until it fits, and that's how you do your logo, and just hit save. Okay, now my logo is going to show up there. You still have to put in the clinic information. We're going to call my clinic um, Posture Analysis specialist okay and we're gonna go ahead and put the office phone number down so I'm gonna put 866-577-7297 and then we're gonna go ahead and put our office email address excuse me our website so we'll go ahead and just put in your whatever your clinic information is okay and put in your address. So I'm going to go ahead and split the keyboard. I like using the split keyboard here. Okay, 3152 Little Road. And I'm going to put Suite 161 in case you guys want to email me or snail mail me an email. Um, Trinity, Florida. Now, this is important. Uh, this information, if you're going to use the exercise module, this is important. Okay, and then right down here, what we have, uh, if you look down on the bottom, this heads-up display is the angle of tilt for your device. If you leave it on off, that means the device needs to be perfectly vertical when uh, taking your pictures. Most people, if they're going to stand up, will use 20 or 25 degrees. Uh, if you want it perfectly uh, centered, um, the best is to use a 20 or, or excuse me, to have it on the off button. But uh, if you're going to be standing up doing screenings, it's just easier to have it tilted a little bit. And then this controls the horizontal on the heads-up display for 
to turn green. You'll have to tip it 20 degrees um, in order to get that horizontal level. Okay. Next thing is using the blue backgrounds. If you're going to be printing a lot of, of these, uh, turn it off. That way it's a white background. If you're going to be emailing them, uh, they look a little bit better, at least in my opinion, to have a white background. Um, and then this alternate backdrop calibration method. If you do not know what this is, don't use it. Basically, if I turn this on, it is going to uh, force me to the, the first two points that we do when we, cal when we take a, a posture image and we start to digitize. We're going to have to click the first two points that equal whatever this distance is in inches. So if I wanted to put that that was 42 inches, excuse me, let me back that up. If it was 42 inches... Um, I would have to click those spots before I start digitizing. A lot of people turn this on and then they complain that they don't uh, understand why these blue dots are showing up when they digitize because they haphazardly didn't read this and they don't understand that you need a, this is for um, uh, if you have a backdrop and you want to calibrate to that backdrop instead of calibrating to their height. Most offices are going to calibrate to the height of the patient. Where this becomes in quite useful is if they have really, really bad posture, they're actually shorter. So you want to use that backdrop method, especially if it's clinical. Uh, if it's a screening, it's not such a big deal. Um, but, you know, that is one of the methods. Okay. If you have the edit report module enabled, you can come in here and you can edit the reports. If you don't have it, you're going to go ahead and click review and you're going to connect to iTunes and it's going to prompt you where I would have to do this edit report uh, text logo for this. And we're going to go ahead and, and cover that in another training video. These are all the upgrades. And just so you know, the upgrades below here, these are all one-time purchases. Okay? One-time purchases. So if I've already purchased these on whatever devices, as long as it's under the same Apple ID, you'll be prompted uh, act like you're going to buy it, but all you have to do is click through it, and it's going to say, oh, you've already purchased it. Do you want to download it again for free? And you would say yes. Okay, we'll cover that in another tutorial. Okay, the credits are device-specific, just like I say up here. Um, Apple forces it to be device-specific. Okay, so um, you have to buy credits for each device, and that's not up to my company. It's up to Apple. Okay, if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to us at Dr. Joe at PostureCO, PostureCo.com. Thank you.